Fuck it. We'll do it live. Welcome to Tuesday's edition of Reason Speak on Secular TV. Today, we have in the Hangout my co host, Lou Pliskin. Hey, Lou. Where you met the people? Hey, we have Rob DeRusso. Yo, what's and, up? Yeah, of, uh, of YouTube fame. And we have Deconverted Man. Hey, say wait to everybody. Deconverted Man, man uh, here. Uh, all righty. So, uh, I want to talk to you guys. Um, yeah. Let's yeah, have a look say, at... Um, fuck it. Oh, shit, I can hear myself. Hold on a minute. Uh -oh. And just so everybody knows, Sid is the only pro-Israel person here. Oh. Why do you know Deconverted Man's not? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, hold on a sec. Let me talk. Now, <laughs> today, um, the first thing I want to do before we, we get into, uh, into the cruise, we start cruising into the show, um, I just want to uh, update everybody on Rafe Badawi in uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, he's pretty much waiting for his next flogging date um, at this point, as, as far as I know. Uh, um, so, don't forget about Rafe. Remember that he's still in jail in Saudi Arabia for being an atheist. And if you're not as pissed off as I am, then I don't understand why. Because I am pissed. Fuck oh, you, Saudi oh, Arabia. Uh, since you're doing the Saeed uh, Saudi Arabia dude, we need to add a, what was it, last week? Uh, last lady? week. Uh, last week, a lady, I forget what country, I think it was, uh, no, it was Afghanistan. Oh, Afghanistan, yeah. yes. So, uh, uh, got beat to death in public, and the police just let it happen, mm -hmm. all because she violated a Koran. Yeah, which which brings me to uh, to the um, the praise God section. But again, before we get to cruise, I've got to, I, I've got to bring up a couple of, um, of issues here. Okay, the God of... The God of the Muslims killed this woman in Afghanistan last week. Also, the God of the Muslims killed uh, a, a, almost like 17 or 18 people or something like that in a, in a museum in Tunisia. So praise Allah for that. Uh, let's see. We also have the God of the Jews. The God of the Jews killed seven little kids in a fucking fire last yeah. week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're seven. They burned to death. Thank you. Praise, praise Yahweh or praise uh, whoever the fucking God of the Jews is. Now, we also have to uh, have a God of the Christians praise because he, the God of the Christians, they killed a Canadian soldier, his wife, and his infant son in a car crash uh, in South Carolina uh, last week. So praise Jesus for that. Um, a couple of things that I think we're going to be talking about today, um, which Lou mentioned one thing was about the uh, uh, Creation Cat's false flagging issue. I think you might want to bring that up at some point. Um, and I just want to congratulate Richard Carrier uh, on his interview with Shara and Nate. Uh, uh, Richard Carrier, just wipe the floor with Nate. Poor Nate. I don't think we'll ever see his face on the internet again because he should be embarrassed to be a Christian. And then last night on Age of Reason, Richard Carrier was on again and proved beyond doubt, beyond any, beyond any reasonable doubt, that Christianity is is nonsense, is mythical. Okay. Having said that, let's. Uh, Let's move forward and uh, talk about uh, Ted Cruz. Finally, we're going to have a Canadian uh, in the White House as president. And I'm really happy about that because um, eventually Canada will dominate the world starting with the White House. One thing I just want to mention is um, Ted Cruz, having been born in Canada to an American mother, is eligible to run for office without a problem. No one's no one's questioning it. However, Barack Obama has an American mother as well. So whether he was born in 
let's say he was born in Kenya, what difference is that? What difference would that make to his um, eligibility to run for president? And why did everybody make such a big deal about it? Um, my next question to anybody on the panel is, who the fuck is Ted Cruz and, 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 and why do you or do you not like him? Can I take this question, please? Ted Cruz Absolutely. is a U.S. Senator from Texas. He's one of those Tea Party, he's one of those Tea Party Republicans. Uh, in 2013, he orchestrated, he orchestrated the government shutdown, which put 800,000 new federal workers out of work. Um, he's one of those Bible thumping, wind, um, right wing, wind nut Christians who uh, believes that God is talking to him. Um, he, he's way too extreme. Like he wants to basically take away all social programs, like Social Security. He wants to cut a lot of funding to elderly people. He's just, he's just one of those crazy right wing religious tea baggers. And I think he's way too extreme for America. I really hope he doesn't get the nomination. You're just all talking right. all kinds of sane. But, you know, a Canadian, he is Canadian, and he's obviously best suited for uh, uh, politics, for American politics. Well, since, since since you just, well not that I'm biased on you. Can, can, can I share Ted Cruz's uh, declaration that he's... Yes, uh, one moment. Let me just introduce uh, 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 Mental Outlaw and Paranor001, who have just joined us. Uh, hello and hello. Hello. All right. Sorry. Canadian. Canadian have to do with him being a, uh, his ability to run for office. That has nothing, no bearing. Well, somebody already made a video about that. Here we go. His, go here, should I should I screen share this? Yeah. So people right. can get call. your message across however you can. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on today. And hey, I can see myself on TV. Yeah, you're gonna. It's gonna teleport. Uh, somebody click on me. And there, what? I did it. All right. Here we go. It's Ted Cruz's acceptance speech, or uh, I'm running for president speech, from Lynchburg, of course, announcing his 2016 presidential bid before thousands of students, boldly declared Monday that the nation had done absolutely nothing to deserve a better candidate than himself. I want you to take a good, hard look at me, America, because this is exactly what you've got coming, said Cruz. Adding that the country was getting itself if it thought it was worthy of higher quality leadership than exactly what he was prepared to offer. And well, I'm, in conclusion, he thinks that he might really be better than America deserves. So, now, take, take, well, take into account that the student body apparently were forced to listen to him because it was it put on the same slot as a uh, regular thing that they all congregated for. So, nice to have a captive I, audience. I support so, Canadians. I always support a Canadian running for the White House every single time. No well, you can't, you can't really call him Canadian anymore. He has given up his citizenship. It doesn't matter. Yeah, he was born in Calgary. Sure. You can't take that away. So, what does Metallo and DM think about that, 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 that level of a speech? Well, if he's Canadian, one thing we know for sure is that he's a communist. Socialist, uh, get it right. Nope, communist, fascist, uh, <laughs> you know, kind of like Sid. <laughs> obviously, Sid is Canadian. He's, he's a good guy. Um, yeah, I mean, if he's if you know if he wants to make America a little bit more fascist than it already is, woohoo! Yay, that's hey. fun. Let's give the crazy access to the most nuclear arms on the planet. So hey, would he a dominionist? What the hell is a dominionist? What the hell is a dominionist? Um, those that want to bring about or excel the second coming of Christ. Well, Sydney, all Tea Party people are dominionists then. Sydney, Christ, Christ is a myth. Sydney, how can you say he's a good guy when you barely know anything about the guy? Prior to the show, you because asked Because he's him Canadian. Him. He's Canadian. <laughs> he's Canadian. <laughs> he says A, he says a boot, and he's a fucking fascist. I'm See, sorry, I'm know. See he's a Canadian. Well. Do you know what Ted Cruz's father said? That all atheists should be put in camps. What well, kind of camps? Of course he should. 
Yeah, yeah I mean, my father it, says that too. So does that make me? Uh, does that does that somehow associate me with that? Does Do it, you know, you know, the last group of people that were put into camps, they were called Jews. Or Japanese. Oh yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. or Bosnians. Or Boy Scouts. <laughs> right. I don't think he's never good. forget the boys. Could be good yeah. camp for atheists. <clears throat> okay, now. Oh shit! My phone's about to die. I got to I got to uh, do a little bit of uh, housekeeping here. I got to tell you that you're watching Reason Speak on Secular TV, and the goal of Secular TV yeah. is to help promote unique and interesting content while focusing on a variety of diverse ideas that appeal to various groups in the secular community. You are part of the secular community. Send us your ideas. Don't be shy. Um, to carry on, Lou has a video, right? Oh, I, I, let, let's save that. I just I had a follow-up question for the panel. Oh, um, all right. So how many people thought that that article about Ted Cruz was a real news article? Uh, wasn't. Which one? Uh, it was from well, the Onion. Unless he's related to Tom Cruise, I don't care. I'm not going to vote for him. It was a real news article from the Onion. <laughs> what article are we referring to here? The one, the one I read about read. Cruise running for president. So he's not really running for president? No, he's really oh. running. <laughs> oh, gosh. Somebody um, give me a movie. Catch up. Here, let me show you again. Let me let me do this. So no one was confused. <laughs> All right. Okay, Rob. Now listen up. No, no, no. Concentrate. Do it slowly now. Okay, here we go. Here's the thing I read. I'm pretty sure you remember that, right? Uh huh. Okay. Now look so at the top where it says <laughs> the onion. There you go. There we go. There you go. That's I uh, Ah, ah, ah got gotcha. you. <laughs> I just. Suckers. I wanted to. Um, you had a video, apparently, Blue, to uh, present to us. All right. Okay. This is uh, Sid has been traveling around the Google Hangouts lately, and uh, I got a good couple clips of his conversation with one of YouTube's favorite persons. So uh -oh. let me, let me I haven't seen this. Right I haven't seen this yet. No, he has not what? seen this yet. I have not. Oh, seen this. You put it there then. You were there. You, what the you said you did. threw it. I Fucking did. Canadians. You must have been up there without even realizing you did it. Uh, I see the exact same camera. All right, here we go. Can't hear. It'd be great if we could hear it. How about some audio? Might make all the difference. Lou, no audio. Lou, there's no audio. Uh, is it bad audio? No, no there's no audio. There's no audio. Very, no very no. low. Damn it, we had this problem last time. Okay, I'll I'll just interpret for it. Um, Sydney made a slew of racist slurs towards everybody in the room. Oh, that's everybody, everybody promptly uh, destroyed themselves with a nuke, and that's how it ended. How do you, sounds, how do you, sounds plausible. Damn it. We need to figure out how to do this stuff better. Ask, ask your daughter to help you. She's probably technologically advanced. Who? No one. Ask no one? Mm -hmm. I can't figure it out. Yeah, right. I was talking with Rand. It was, it was hilarious. Oh, I want to see it. No, you got to figure it out. I'll, I'll upload it for you so everybody can watch it later. Well, I haven't. I, it's not even uploaded. No, no, no. Can you? Sh I want to watch it now. Oh well, how would we get the audio to work? Same oh. as you did last time. What I, do, what I usually do when my audio doesn't work, I go to the settings and I go to like speakers, and but you'll lose your mic, but you can still play the audio through the Hangout. Ah, there you go. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Go yeah, to the top. You just go up to the settings. You see where that gear is on top. Oh. Of the, of yeah. top of the screen, go to the gear and click onto it, and you can switch your mic to speakers, and you can play your audio. Oh, speakers. 
Oh, speakers. Hey, yeah. we got Lady Fairfax in the room. So I'm going to lose our... All right, finally. Yeah, change your microphone feed to your speakers. Hello, Lady Fairfax. Hey, Sydney. Welcome. Hey, Lady Fairfax. Okay, now we're just about to... Uh, uh, Hi. We're, pr we're, pr uh, we're apparently about to watch a, um, a video of clips that uh, Lou put together. Cool. All right, I'm going to count silently the logical fallacies and tell you the result at the end. No, still no audio. Still no audio. Still no audio. Yeah. Rob, you lied to me. Formal no, fallacy. Probably failure to audio. It probably went back to your mic. That happens sometimes. Well, you know what? I kind of have something that I want to talk about a bit so we can right. fill in the dead air while uh, Lou figures that out. Okay. So, real quick, I want to get your opinions on something. So... The little thumbs up, thumbs down thingy that we have on YouTube that is usually used for people to kind of say whether they agree or disagree with a video, yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's not actually how it works. Okay, so how exactly no, does no. it work then? Well, whenever you thumb down a video, you actually give it a half of a up vote. So, basically, if you want a video to not get any attention at all, don't vote either way. <laughs> well, that's uh, no Somebody way somewhere... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was just talking about, like, if you thumb up a video, that kind of implies that you agree with it, and if you thumb it down, that kind of agrees that you... I mean, implies that you disagree with it. So, yeah. with that in mind. I have a video that I'm kind of perplexed about. Mm-hmm on my channel. It's... This is a video I made against a guy who thinks that our lovely moon is a hologram. <laughs> now, I don't understand why 21 people agree with this guy and therefore disagree with my debunking video. I gotta love the crazy ones. <laughs> Rob, Rob. I, I, I don't understand this. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but... Well, People believe yeah. in crazy things. There's a group in New York that still maintains the the Earth is flat. So, yeah. Okay. Um, With the moon being a hologram, though, come on now. Sure, why not? Have you heard? Were you have there? You heard the concave Earth Earth theory. You can't. You can't prove it's not. I actually can prove it's not. We've got people that have been there. But uh, uh, that's. That's part of the conspiracy. Oh, that's part of the conspiracy. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I think, I, think, I think Lou's got his tech, tech uh, problems figured out. No, I don't think it's going to work. Because <laughs> you, you can all still hear me now. So is Lou part of the conspiracy? Lou, did you... Lou is, Lou is the military? conspiracy. Lou, when you were still in the military, did you engage in an operation to create a hologram projection of the moon. Yes, well, don't talk, well, don't talk yeah. about it, Lou. When, when I enlisted, uh, one of my first duties was to uh, guard the uh, hologram projector. Uh, Lou, Lou, right behind you is a window. I see a red spot on your head. Duck! Duck! <laughs> <laughs> So, so you see this video Lou or not? did have to. Lou had to guard the hologram projection. Well, you didn't. You didn't guard it very well, because this guy named Dave J apparently figured your plan out. The, does he have a video about it or just? Comments? Oh yeah. He he does. He might have taken it down because I mean he he had several people do a video about well, it. Is what the fuck is he wearing a? What? Is he wearing an SS hat in this if, video? If, if you think this? that's bad, I stumbled across a video that said the Illuminati exposed vigilant Christian uh, exposes how uh, the Illuminati killed Robin Williams and why. And goes into great detail with how the Illuminati, New World Order, 
had Robin Williams killed. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it has it has a hundred thousand plus subscribers to this guy's channel. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> So I'm like, well, don't you guys think that if this was real, the Illuminati would just have this guy's YouTube taken down? No, because, see, then they would reveal their hand. Oh. 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 But killing Robin Williams... Oh, never mind. <laughs> but what if they take it down with their foot? Yeah. So, I don't know. so what happens if they switch off the hologram projector? I mean, like, there is, there is a chance of that, right? On the day, well, you see, they have a very sophisticated system of people who replace bulbs. Uh, Lou actually replaced it on his last day of being in the military, so I think the bulb should need another replacement. In a but why? Uh, we got Echo DM. Sorry. It's, uh, it's like wind. Now, what were you going to say? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I was gonna say, why would they? Why would we have a hologram at all? Why? Why is it even there? Like, why bother? Oh yes, I I asked that in my video response to him, and his response was something along the lines of the evil ones use it to control us. Now, I don't know who the <laughs> evil ones are. More like Satan. <laughs> I'm I'm I don't know the word the word Satan wasn't thrown out there yet, so let's not assume it's Satan. It could be a sadistic crate of bananas. I mean, who knows? <laughs> the evil well, ones. That's all we know. How, how are they controlling us and how is it he's not being controlled? How does he know he's not being controlled to think that He's being controlled. <laughs> so, so the phrase uh, "complete in his lunacy" is very apt in here with this guy. Yes. Well, you see, the only way to not be controlled is to make approximately one video every day where you bring up subjects such as denying the Charlie Hebdo incident, denying the Holocaust. Uh, saying that the moon and that various planets are just hologram projections and good stuff like that. Yeah. All right. I don't, I don't know why. Time to start. Are, uh, I don't know why people are against the moon because usually the conspiracy nutters' whole theme is nothing bad ever really happened and it's all a conspiracy. The the, the issue I have about the moon, and I, and I have no problem with a hologram because, you know, a hologram, you know, you shine it in the sky and, and you see the moon. But during the day, in the morning sometimes, every day actually, when I take my dog for a walk early in the morning when it's light, I see the moon in the sky as, as a white chunk of rock or something. How can that possibly be a hologram? It's the not. whole sky, the whole sky is a hologram. Oh, We're all in the Truman oh, Show. Hold on, hold on. I, I just got, I just got a video title from my buddy here. You see, the moon, in quotations, because it's not real, is the lesser light. Do not worship the creation. Let it be. Get out of the fallen light. You got that? Got it. You understand? <laughs> Do you understand? No. What's going on here? Somebody he's asking him to bring out the lobsters. And you know why Robin Williams had to die over all this, right? He was the he was the king of the moon. <laughs> so, we, so so we could all be saved from the moon. Well, exactly. well then Jim Carrey Jim Carrey is going to be next because he was in the movie The Man. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You know the man on the moon. So. He's got to watch his back, man. He's going to be taken out any day now. Hey, he's safe because he's he's already crazy, so... <laughs> oh, he's part of it. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's part of the whole conspiracy. Right, that's yeah, what the mask was really about. He's supposedly the um, head of the Church of Satan in, in Hollywood. Church that's of Satan? <laughs> yeah. Church of Satan? I thought Anton LaVey was the head of the Church of Satan. I am the head of the Church. He's dead. No, that's that's what, Anton LaVey is dead. Who's dead? Well, that's yeah, what they passed on to his kids or something? I'm pretty sure he has kids. Well, wouldn't. 
Yeah, but he's in San Francisco, not in, in Hollywood. Close Wait, enough, right? was was his wife named Rosemary? Anton LaVey? Uh, uh, Someone got it. I, I missed it. Rosemary's uh, baby. Over my head. It. Oh, yeah. No, so I don't think I've ever seen that movie. Which movie? Um, Rosemary's Baby. No, I've never seen it either. Never seen it, just knew it as a reference. Um, I'll Lou, take your word for it. Yes. Lou, um, did you have something to say about Creation Camp? I think most of us have heard about it. It's not really about him, but... Some dick tease false flagged creationist cat because he was making fun of the vigilant dork. Yeah. And, uh, and, and uh, you got to give a lot of respect to uh, VD because he came out and uh, supported free speech and everything. So, and, and the whole thing I liked about this is like, even you know, no matter who we are or how batshit crazy we end up being. The, the majority of us still band together to support free speech here on, on YouTube. Which everybody That's spread the butter. Yeah. Because, like, there's people I hate the fuck out of, and I still don't flag their shit. You know, so, you know, I mean, my top top person I hate is Wild Bill, and I don't fuck with his channel. Hmm. That's just bad form to flag people. It is. The, the only time should be if they're actually breaking the rules, you know? Well, I don't even do that. Um, I don't believe in flagging whatsoever because it's like if it's not a felony and no one's being physically harmed, you can notify the owners of whatever fucking material was stolen and let them deal with it. It's their shit, their decision. So if somebody if made is, a, so somebody made a video exposing the genitals, you wouldn't flag that? Hell no. I'd plus what? one that. Yeah, but if it's like a felony thing where somebody's like, I'm going to go kill my neighbor, and they put it on YouTube or shit, you still don't need to flag that shit. That's when you call the motherfucking FBI. But what if the neighbor <laughs> consented to being killed? <laughs> you mean like you know, that guy I mean, in Germany? There's, there's a couple yeah. of situations we have here. You know, we have sexual fetishes where people like to be killed, and we have assisted That's suicide. Hmm. Oh, talking about uh, killing and suicide. Uh, well, maybe not suicide, but I got another shout out for the uh, the Christian God. Um, he killed 150 people by throwing a uh, an airplane full of them into the Alps today, earlier today. Yeah. So praise he Jesus. He threw an airplane oh. into the Alps. Yeah, it yeah, also yeah, happened yeah. in a plane crash. I don't know anything <laughs> well, about it. Well, this plane was flying from, I think, Barcelona, to Dussel Barcelona, Spain, to Dusseldorf, Germany, and uh, didn't quite make it. It sort of crashed into the Alps. Everybody killed. Okay. They, they just reached um, uh, flying altitude. They when just they, reached cruising altitude. They were yeah. cruising altitude when everything kind of went dead. They lost the... Uh, losing altitude, they lost contact at 6,000 feet, yeah. and there's the biggest piece, I think, is maybe five feet. I think they said the biggest, any, piece did, of, the biggest piece was the size of a car. Yeah. Did anyone survive? No, 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 hell no. Hell no. You, 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 what what well, ir well, irritates me is when there's a crash like that, and one person survives, and all over the news, it's like, it's a miracle. No, no, no. <laughs> it would be... It would be a miracle if everyone would, would, had no scratches. They walked away. The thing's burning, and they're like, ah, that was fun. <laughs> Let's do it yeah. again. Exactly. Yeah, they, they crash into a mountain. Nobody dies. Nobody gets hurt, and they still make it to Germany on time. That's a fucking miracle. <laughs> on time, and, and, they, and they get through uh, airport security without getting harassed. <laughs> Exactly. Um, so I have a theory as to why God crashed that plane. I think he might have been justified. Because see, drinking. See, it's Germany. because Jurassic Park 4 is coming out. Okay, let's hear, well, what, that. Let's hear, let's hear what, the, what, what, what he says, what he wants to say. Go ahead. If I remember correctly, Germany mm -hmm. is a mostly atheist nation. Okay. So anybody who would dare travel to a godless nation 
needs to be Must die. out of the sky. Must die. Yeah. Must die, yeah. yeah. Plain and simple. And apparently there were like 16 school children on there. Yeah. Uh, sorry you lost singers. your lives so early, but blame Jesus or somebody. Well, that's a free I'm, ticket I'm, to heaven. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure there. I'm, I'm sure it was Muslim terrorists that, that crashed the plane. Of course. <laughs> well, what other type of terrorists are there? Huh? I, I know. That's, American uh, that's a bit of an oxymoron, right there. There's terrorists in America. There's terrorists. There's actually Al Qaeda cells in in America. Oh yeah. What's the yeah. address? What's it? Yeah, know. they they drive taxis. They drive taxis. What's the that's ha, not has, funny, man? Because they don't fucking stop for me. That, that but it's amazing, me you know. You say there's iPhone cells. I mean, there's. I just fucked up the joke. Sorry. I was oh. going to say, you know, you got uh, terrorist cells, Al Qaeda cells, but I got an iPhone cell. Anyway. Has, well, have hey, you all heard of uh, the uh, the Christians Against Dinosaurs webpage? Yes. 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 This is this is new to me, but it's great. I. I don't even know where to begin. Yeah, the woman denies the existence of dinosaurs. It was like a it's couple. It's not months. just her; it's like a whole bunch of people now. Yeah. Rob, have you ever ridden a dinosaur? No, can't say I have. Okay, so uh, how do you know they're real? Because we have um, evidence of dinosaurs lived. They're called fossils. Yeah, but who's the evidence? Illuminati. Biased evidence. Yeah. Probably, probably yeah. evidence by science or something. No, exactly. Here, here's what it is. No, here, here's the deal. I, I'm actually, guys. I'm I'm actually uh, friends with uh, one of the people that that helps push the big paleo agenda, and uh, they actually work in manufacturing fossils. So, so yeah, it's it's all uh, hopes. I I don't believe you. I think that all the fossils are holograms. <laughs> It's, it's all holograms. <laughs> <laughs> Each Mass one of the hypnosis. fossils are holograms. It's awesome. Mass uh, hypnosis through fluoride in the tap water. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, that stuff. Can it, be and the chemtrails, there. the chemtrails that are controlling us with the fossils, yeah. holograms of <laughs> somehow. Yes. I've, I've got a. Uh, uh, and a question on biology, which uh, I want to throw a guy through at you guys today. Um, all right, all right. Here's, here's how the chemtrails work. All right. So the fluoride in the water, what that does is it breaks down your 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 chakra mental barriers, right? So it, it opens you up to out, outside mind control. And the chemtrails is is the radio transmitters. They're like micro transmitters they spread everywhere and it's and, and that's how they get control of your mind well Go Jesus ahead. didn't say anything about chakras I think that's some satanic hippie bullshit that you came up with <laughs> because you clearly work for the fossil holograms yeah so he's biased he's, he's getting paid by that yeah. what kind is a platypus um, oh, platypus kind cute breakfast that's a dinner meal. Don't you know the platypus turbo evolved from a duck? Oh, is that a platy duck? No, yeah, platy duck. Well, it looks like it's dinner. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> uh oh, somebody. Oh, the first uh -oh. death on screen. The first death on Reason Speak. Doesn't uh -oh. need to be many more. Okay, well, he's gone. Well, somebody's dying. Somebody else said that Ray Comfort is a hologram. Okay, he's dying. Did somebody call 119? I don't know where he lives. What are you, Dick Sluxic? 911. Wait a minute. He's been replaced with some type of little anime thingy. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, I'd, 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 rather talk to, I'd rather talk to this thing. Hello, young lady. How many hentai flicks have you starred in today? What what kind of what kind of Hindu has a blue dot in the face? Over nine thousand. Oh, over nine. Beware of tentacles. 
God, we lost all of our viewers. That's a <laughs> surprise. <laughs> That's what happens when you fight against Big Paleo. This better get oh, me a man. sub or two. Dang it. Man, I think, fuck, hold up. I let, think, me, let me get the right link so I can share it with my peeps. I think everybody. I think the the big conspiracy people went and executed all of our viewers so they couldn't hear us. Probably. Right. We would have done better to talk about how Lou looks like Notch from Minecraft. Oh yeah, well. That is. Oh yeah, yeah, prove it. Yeah, prove it. Yeah. Oh hey, Canada was in the news. Uh, Canada Again? has. Yeah, I know. It's a little. It's not very many people up there in Canada, but they make the news sometimes. <laughs> what, what did we do now? So I forget what province it was, but one of your parliamentary dudes was talking about how how they shouldn't teach evolution in the Canadian schools. Well, that's old news, man. That's old news. That's old oh. news. That was a month ago, I think. Yeah, you wouldn't. It, it was like catching some of the Republicans in England when they asked them about evolution, and they wavered quite a bit and danced a little pony around. Oh, oh that, that's that's Canadian. That's Canadian. Hey, can we talk about Phil Robertson? Can I talk about Phil Robertson? What he said about atheists—that um, that he has this fantasy that that atheists should be raped and killed. Oh Ooh. sure, go for it. Wow, wow, that's my <laughs> one. one. I want to make one point about that uh, the Canadian PM. Um, I think he was from Alberta. Big surprise. Mm. Not. Okay, Rob, what's your point? So Phil Robertson made this statement. How he he has this like really sick fantasy about eight about eighty about you know atheists being raped and killed. And I guess he's trying to make the point that, you know, if you have no morals, then we can just do what the fuck we want to anybody. Who's Phil Robertson? He's a asshole from Duck Dynasty. Oh, the Dick Dynasty guy, okay. Yeah, the, the asshole oh, from Duck Dynasty. One. Wait, wait, if the person themselves does, let's just, let me just think about this. So, Greg has no morals. We know that Greg has no morals. That doesn't mean that I... Who am killing Greg have no morals. <laughs> well, this is from still... Phil Robertson. What do you expect? Yeah, it, but uh... this is coming from the same guy that made homophobic statements a couple years ago and got suspended uh, off of A and E for oh. making homophobic statements. Oh. I, I remember when the History Channel actually showed history. No, I don't remember that. Uh, now it's just reality TV. Side shows become reality. T it's like that's why I watch nothing but internet stuff now. Is TV yeah, they had yeah. that channel back in the day. Right, they I had. I can the say the same about the Discovery channel. channel, though. Yeah, where'd Lady Fairfax go? I think she got uh, disconnected. Um, got more, sick of us. Uh, oh, got sick hey. of us. Yeah. Somebody said. Lou, Lou, turn to your left slightly. Why? Yeah, no, no, a little bit more towards the screen. No. no. There, stop, stop. Oh, no, I'm not posing for you. No, 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 I got it. I got it. No, it's too late. Yeah, got it. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I'm making my point. <laughs> You're making ah, the your point. question on biology. Yes. Okay. Um, if you're born. If you're the son, if you're born and you're and you're the, and you're a, a, a little baby boy, we have to assume that you um, that your father has a penis and you have a penis. If yeah. you're born. All right. Now, the question I have is: we have this mythical person um, called Jesus Christ, who is the son of a deity with no penis. So the question is, does did Jesus Christ have a penis? If his father didn't have a penis. Hmm. Well, hmm. no, 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 he was without thing. sin. And he most was... sin involves a penis. Well, that's true. 
But uh, wasn't he like wasn't he man in God flesh? Like wasn't he like the son of God but in man flesh? So why would he not have a penis? Because it's because God doesn't have a penis. He would right. need well, no, he, he would have to so that he could get his foreskin cut off because that's the thing. <laughs> No, I said he got his foreskin cut I just think this is a silly conversation to have because I think it's God. But God would need a penis because all he'd have to do is pop inside the womb, shoot off at the fallopian tubes, and pop back out. He just magics the sperm into the egg. Ah, talking about sperm, I have another question. Oh, no. Oh, boy. In an ejaculation, there are apparently millions of sperm. Yeah. One of them touches the... Uh, the egg and forms a zygote. The question I have is, does it matter which one, which sperm touches the egg? Does the exactly the same person come out either way, or does each sperm produce a different person potentially each, with that each egg? One, yeah, each one is different. Okay, so now where does this um, Predeterminism come from. Why do why does ejac why does ejaculate need more than one sperm if uh, if uh, if ever if because if everything is predetermined according to the I actually uh, I, I I actually systems. know a little bit about this <laughs> believe it or not <laughs> yes uh, pastor <laughs> so um well no actually in um in male human sperm and I think it's like this for animals as well only one percent of the sperm cells are fertile. The other 99% of them are what they call fighter sperm, which are used to fight the sperm of other men to uh, basically battle to pick which one impregnates the female because back when we lived on the plains of Africa, we had basically like big-ass orgies when it was <laughs> our mating season. Well, just look up in the cell phones. And uh, girls uh, were getting fucked by multiple dudes, so that's why you have the whole whoa, whoa. fighter thing, dude. Hey, that sounds like Ted Cruz's one of Ted Cruz's parties. Um. So yeah, that's that's well, that's that bit about it. What, so, but that doesn't make sense. Not today. No. No, it does. Look at some of them under a microscope. They look like mace heads and shit. The fighter ones look like mace heads. The fighter ones. Yeah. Yeah. They, does that, like they that, look. That's the doesn't... ones. The ones that are fertile are like the regular oval shape, but the ones that aren't, they have like some of them have two heads. Uh, oh, that's how many fertile ones are there? Oh, that makes sense. How many fertile ones are there? It's roughly one percent of the uh, of total the million? volume. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah. just so uh, how many millions of uh, of sperm are there in an ejaculation? I don't know. Depends on I don't know. Depends on how long you want to wait. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I've just waited long enough. How many now? Depends on how good, and depends on, you know, how good the sex is. Well, that's, uh, okay, well, good, complete answer. That's nice. Now we can move on to the next subject, now that we've, uh, we've, uh, Oh, yeah, that was why I brought up the Canada thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because not to be outdone, Florida, of course, the capital of the Tea Party, couldn't, could not stand with... With the Canadian wanting to teach creationism or something like that, so Florida had to out stupid everybody else, and their governor man I think it was the governor yeah it was mandated that nobody in in their like the, what was it the Florida EPA or some shit like that they're not allowed to say climate change why not yeah. because the governor said they're not allowed to yeah, it's an unwritten rule that got passed down, and there's video of somebody in Florida, and it breaks out in total laughter because they're trying to find, not say, climate change. Right. It's bloody hilarious. Uh, I should be able to find it. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw that on a commercial on Adult Swim, which obviously I was skeptical of it because it was on Adult Swim, but now you're confirming for me that that's legit. To no, tell me, is. why the fuck would a peninsula deny climate change? Rick Scott. <laughs> hey, um, I, I have an announcement to make, if you guys don't mind me making this announcement. On CNN tonight at 9 p.m., oh, they're going to yes. be doing atheism. I'm sorry, excuse me, let me say that again. They're going to do a special on atheism and non-believers. So if anybody's interested... Oh, in no. If anybody's interested in checking that out, CNN, 9 p.m. There's also going to be uh, the first 
quote unquote atheist commercial uh, that Silverman Silverman put together. Uh, uh, that's going atheist? to be aired tonight. From the American atheists? Yeah, but an actual commercial. Oh, oh. where was this commercial on? A it's, it's CNN. CNN. It's CNN. days like today that I wish I had a TV. Internet. I, there was a. Uh, yeah. Super Bowl commercial about how atheists. Watch, how do you watch internet? I mean, it? CNN on the internet. Are you go CNN.com, probably. Well, you just wait until the next day in secular... Oh, uh, yeah, the next day I can watch, download it. Kyle will have a sh segment on it. That's his thing, secular something or another. I actually so, think so Kyle let's did just, a thing Let's on just that. guess what the special about atheists are going to be. So I assume... First uh, ten minutes of it are going to be explaining our relationship with our Dark Lord and Master Satan. Yes, you don't uh, really know that. Oh, Satan! Ex Kyle. Explaining how we have no morals and we rape and kill one another on a daily basis. Ooh, I hope they they include uh, one of my cooking videos where I'm I'm making uh, food with baby ingredients like mm, <laughs> delicious babies. <laughs> Baby Tell me something. Yeah. Which other, which which race of babies taste best? I, I'd well, say I'd say white babies are the best. No, you, uh, it, you just what? You just biased. Biased, man. It depends For on the. What? Well, look. If you eat Mexican, you'll be going to the bathroom. Mm. Um, if you eat a Chinese black baby, is good if you like one one if you like either. dark meat, but. The best is Native American because they're pure. There you go. They were. No, that's they're not. They're pure. How yeah, they were here first, so they they they're more pure than the other ones. I don't know. I got. Nothing. So they're like really organic. <laughs> yeah, they're really organic, right? Oh yeah, that was. I was trying to think of. You cannot, I don't think, survive on just minerals and nothing else. You have to at some point eat something that was alive. So I'm trying to think, is there a way we could have a diet where nothing is killed? Like you're super it's not just vegan, it's like, no, I don't want anything to die. Diet. You could be a breatharian or breatharian. Uh, somebody, somebody <laughs> No, I mean you could eat minerals. Minerals aren't alive. You could eat minerals, you can drink water, but there has to be something else because you're missing something. So why <laughs> can't we just do photosynthesis? <laughs> Somebody, Since my audio is jacked, somebody else needs to play it. All right, where is it? And on the side chat. I put the link in the side chat. But Soylent is um, a liquid uh, food. The that... link in the side chat to what? But Soylent is people. No, ah, yes. But, no, this guy created this. You can get it over the net. Order it over the net, and it's a powder. You mix it in with whatever, and you just drink that. No food. Okay, I'll uh, I'll screen share this, and I'll play the video for you if you like. Yeah, start it at 120. Yeah. At 120. Yeah. That's where the actual video of that they took from Florida without file. Right. All right, uh, you guys. And that's public property, so we don't have to worry about copyright on it. You got it. Can you see? Is it there? That's it. Right on. Yeah, last time when we, when we uh, went through this particular issue, and, and as you said, this is federal. These are federal funds. Did you? Are you familiar with the new uh, procedures that FEMA issued just this week, dealing with uh, climate change and the 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 fact that they're going to be requesting or demanding that states have a climate change plan uh, before they're going to to issue some of these preparedness dollars. I am. Right. Is that going to affect these monies at all? It will not. Yeah. That, 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 that one refers to uh, a state's hazard mitigation plan, which is done every five years. Uh, in the next iterations of them will require to have uh, language to that effect. What were those words? What were those words you were using? I used climate change, but I'm suggesting that maybe as a state we use atmospheric reemployment. That might be something that the governor can do. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so, <laughs> my work obviously was, was with these dollars, but in, in, in a more general sense, that we as a state have to come up with some sort of plan in order to be able to make sure we keep our, our preparedness dollars for hurricanes. I'm assuming that is something that you are going to be speaking with the governor about and, and trying to take up so that we make sure we don't lose our dollars in the future. Uh, yes, Senator, and our next uh, state a mitigation plan is due to the feds in 2018, so we have some time uh, in which to have that conversation. So uh, even though that takes place, the, the edict starts kind of in, in March of 2016, we don't have to. That's correct. But, I, what, but my understanding is at this point is that we will require that future versions of our mitigation plan will be required to have uh, language discussing that issue. What issue is that? Uh, the issue that you mentioned earlier regarding. Uh, <laughs> stop it there, probably. Yeah. So the dude did not want to say the word climate change. Wow. No, he's not allowed to. Well, he's How is he losing not losing his job. Yeah, the, the one person oh. already was forced to take two days off work unpaid because they said climate change when they were taking notes at a yeah. climate change conference. And they lost pay for it as well. Yeah. I don't like Florida even more than I did before of the... And I'm in Florida. Meh. So I have a question, then. Move to Texas. Uh, no saying climate change. Deal. I, no. So if you are a government official in Florida and you are performing some type of dangerous, kinky sex act with your secretary, like let's say there's a belt around her throat, no. And her safety word is climate change. Does she say her safety word or die from erotic asphyxiation? Come on now, you're from Florida. I want some answers here. Come on. Well, it all depends. If she says the safe word in these witnesses, then she's liable to be, to be prosecuted and uh, imprisoned. But if there are no witnesses... Then um, she just needs to be uh, prosecuted and uh, imprisoned. Wait, is this a law or just? It's a it's a unwritten law. It's just stupidity. Okay. It, it comes right. from on high. Rick, Floridian yeah. stupidity. Here's how we fix this whole problem. All right, it's wow. really simple. We just need to um, in, in, implement Christian Sharia law and and then make a law that says the word climate change is a blasphemy against Christ, and then we can just burn and stone to death everybody who says climate change. Climate ah, change. Yes. You that's something. That sounds like a good idea. Do something. That would solve the climate change problem, though, because... Then no one would say it anymore. So is this? So wait a minute. Is this like Legally. a like a statewide thing, or is it just for government officials? Government yeah, officials. Yeah, government, government officials. Oh government damn! Officials. I wish I wish it was a statewide thing for a second, because I have to call people in Florida all the time for my job, and uh, I want to get one of them to say climate change. Oh look, Lou made Ma Minecraft. <laughs> That's what I keep saying. I said that, dang it. So, Lou, do you or do you not have several billion dollars, and did you or did you not beat, uh, who was it, Jay-Z in an auction for a mansion? Um, yeah, I, I got the, uh, the money stashed with my uh, hologram projector. <laughs> awesome. So how is that mansion with, uh, I think it's 14 toilets each costing $5,000? How does it sit, How does it feel to shit in something that costs five grand? Well, he's got the bidet next door. <laughs> right next door. <laughs> yes, Lou, how does it feel? See, uh, when, when, you, when you're filthy rich like this, what you do, you got all this fancy stuff. And you got all these servants and shit. I know we call them employees in public, but they're really servants because they got to do everything I say. And what happens is I have a special person I pay, and what I do is I just go out and I shit on the front lawn, and I have this special person go clean it up for me. Your own personal pooper scooper. It's yeah, good to be in a Why did you sell Minecraft? Why not just keep 
raking in the money, man. What's what's wrong with you? Well, it's the American way, you know. We all got to sell out something. But you're not American. Equal distribution of wealth. Yes, that's Yeah, American we don't even way. know what you are. Like, what the bleep are you? <laughs> Who knows? I are you know. even human? He wanted to get into the into the George Lucas club, you know. <laughs> George Lucas sells Star Wars. Lou sells Minecraft. Yeah. What was the uh, inspiration for Creepers? For what? Who? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Assholes. It's got to be an asshole. I hate Creepers. What's Creepers? creepers are awesome. See, Lou, Lou, okay, I, I think I know. So everybody has, games? everybody knows that asshole that always comes over to your house uninvited. So Lou's sitting there thinking, gee, assholes that come over to your house uninvited sure suck. What can make them suck more? Oh yeah, let's make them explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because those fuckers are always hovering around. What about the... The Endermen, though, they teleport when you look at them, and they're all black. Does that offend you there, uh, Kenny? Does it offend me? No. Oh. It no, offends no. somebody. Not one bit. Well, I'm sure it would offend... <laughs> who Who the fuck did I argue with about racism a couple weeks ago? I'm sure it would offend that guy. <laughs> His name wasn't Johnny, was it? I'm sure it would offend him, and I'm sure he would explain to me why I should be offended by it. Well... Isn't it true that all black people can teleport? I can only That's teleport. Crazy. I can only <laughs> teleport half the distance that I had in my mind. Oh. Because I'm half black. I'm Isn't sorry. It? I I I apologize. I was wrong. Okay. I, I can only teleport halfway. Like if I want to teleport to California, I'll end up somewhere in Kansas. Uh, I'm sure you've still got. Oh man. A, I'm sure you've got a couple. Uh, a couple the direct curls though. I got a question, since we got a black man on the panel. <laughs> uh, I'll answer wow. the question. <laughs> sure, so we, I'll do my best know, to answer. We all know who the gay Ebola sprinkle pastor is, right? Manning. No. Yeah, Not Manning. Manning. You haven't who? seen the gay Ebola sperm sprinkle He's pastor? He's a black pastor, right? Yeah. I, I haven't, but I'm excited to learn about him now. Okay, it's Pastor Manning. Oh. All right, well, he came out not, not too long ago. His, his newest sermon is that gay white men are competing with straight black women for, for black men. I and that the, 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 the gay white men with their visa cards are, are, are uh, too enticing for the black men, and the, the, the black women need to step up their game. Otherwise, the gay white men are going to steal all their men. I think so, my brain just exploded. So, wait, I'm a little bit confused. So, so have you had a problem? Men are competing with black women to fuck black guys? Yeah, pretty much. The, the, the way <laughs> doing it. You mean what? I know. White guys. So, have you felt very, very, very gay lately? Have you been around any white guys with Visa cards? Well... Your, your theory is a little bit sound, and I'll tell you why. Because I do get hit on by gay guys a lot, both from my Tumblr page, my YouTube page, and occasionally when I go to the gym. So you so might you be go to the something gym, there. What, twice, I, I don't get what the... I don't get what the... Are you talking about Visa as in, like, a citizenship card? No, like yeah, a credit Visa card. Visa like a credit card. Oh, I've got a Visa card. It doesn't have shit for money on it, but I've got they let, one. They let <laughs> people have Visa cards? What the fuck? So it's like it's like the gay sugar daddy? <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> fuck that. Okay, well, you know what? You know what? If, if, if I could get a gay sugar daddy to just... I don't know. He could blow me. That'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> that works. <laughs> I'm not going to blow him. I'm not going to blow him, but he can blow me. Well, he I can might blow let... And then give me money. Yeah, I, I mean, if a gay guy wanted to give me money, I might let him butt fuck finger me a little bit. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm weird about about butt stuff. This butt show stuff is he's getting weird. silly. <laughs> yeah, I blame I blame Matt Slick. Bring out the bananas. Who mentioned Matt Slick on my show? How dare you? Okay, I just I need to make an announcement though. 
So if there's any black women watching this show, if if you cannot find a straight black man anymore, I just want you to contact me and <laughs> and I'll substitute, okay? So I'll, I I got this covered. I think we need to put Manning and the uh, I'll dead sperm drinking Muslim together. Yes, yes. Put him with the sperm drinker. Mm -hmm. Saiten Atheist just did, just animated that guy too. Oh, I know. Yeah, that was hilarious. Boy, Saiten Atheist animated him. I'll have to see check out his channel now because I know the last you one I saw was Atheist. Yeah. I still want to know who who like who the. F who keeps their sperm in a fridge, though? Well, daddies do, so their their kids can drink it, obviously. So, yeah. last... But what? Huh? You haven't seen that? Protein, you... everybody. No, I, I've Protein. seen it. I've seen it. And I actually made a video debunking the guy, but it's like, what Like what dad... How many dads do we have here? Do any of you keep your, your jizz in a fridge? No, Why do you, you keep your jizz in a fridge? I freeze it because I, I have to uh, export it all over the states, but and it's not in a fridge. Okay, uh, because it's it's, it's a dead. Dead. well, you don't because, freeze in a fridge. You freeze it in a freezer. Yeah, because it's it's one of the ingredients of Starbucks now. Mm. And I'm not a parent of soup. Yeah, Starbucks coffee, frothy coffee. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh my goodness. Go into a Starbucks and ask for a coffee with some Santorum on top. <laughs> hey, they're already asking you about uh, having uh, relation or uh, engagement on race. Boy, they. On oh, what? what? Starbucks. Mm -hmm. they, you haven't heard about the um, race? Uh, let's talk about race, baby. No, what race? Oh, Kersman made a video about that. I, I didn't understand yeah. it. No, they, they're trying to start the conversation by imposing the conversation. And they wrote it on your cup or something? Yeah. Oh. And apparently they've stopped it because the actual thing they were trying to do raised more concern over the actual conversation about race. Wait, wait. wait. I'm lost. What conversation about race? Their, their baristas, the people who serve the coffee, were supposed to write on, let's have a con or have the conversation or something. And when they were asked about it, we're supposed to say, well, we're going to have this discussion about race relations. And unfortunately, they rolled out this plan in Kentucky. <laughs> uh, what happened is the 18-year-old redneck working at the Starbucks, you know, he got the memo, and he's not too good on reading and spelling and stuff, so when he was writing on the cups, he, he messed up a little bit, and he's just like, what do you think about niggers? And... <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So, uh, that's great. I wish I could have gotten that coffee. <laughs> I wish I could have gotten that coffee, and then, you know, just read it, Tell him, hold on a second. Go to the trunk of my car. Get my Django outfit, because you know. I oh. carry one of those around. Come in with my uh, Sonoff. My overpowered mm. Sonoff, by the mm. way, because that shit shoots people across the room. Yeah, of course. It's quite terrible. And blow his tiny little ignorant brain off. And then play uh, New Slaves by Kanye West. And so then what, what, Send his family a girl for the bullets. Yes. Yes. What, what Django outfit do you have? Is it the blue one? <laughs> of course it's the blue one. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> what would I wear? He's like, so you actually wanted to wear that? Oh, yeah. That shit's Come on, guys. Picks or it didn't happen. <laughs> that's, man. That's, that's, that's what I wear when all the gay white guys hit on me. Okay, I'll, I'll, after the show I'll find that pic. <laughs> uh, okay, hey, I want to see that video still, Lou. Can you send it to me so I can maybe... Well, I'll have to upload it, but yeah. Uh, My audio Hey, you need to do the show closing. Actually, I need to, uh, I need to tell people yeah, and we have a massive audience out there today. Uh, of one, I think. I, I'm actually quite, quite um, uh, um, 
I'm impressed that the internet can actually handle the traffic. But um, um, for all you out there, for all you guys out there who are having as much fun as we are today, um, you should all know that uh, with Secular TV, we have a Patreon account. Okay. So if you want to be a patron, you uh, all you need to do is go to, um, uh, I guess, patreon.com slash secular TV. And you can uh, you can support us, but I've got something to read here, so so that you you know it, it makes a better sense. Um, and what it says here that it, and uh, and I've said it before about secular TV, uh, we're a network that hosts twenty over twenty plus independent shows made by a diverse list of content creators from all over the globe. We seek out a variety of secular-minded creators, such as new voices wanting to try launching their own shows, existing voices with established shows, bands, artists, writers, and, and others, to promote to the rest of the community. We currently have just over a quarter of the funding we need to reach our next goal of becoming an educational nonprofit, and we need your help. Secular TV also maintains one. 100% transparency with its content creators. All donations directly support the shows and their hosts by covering the basic operating costs and services that we provide, such as website hosting, podcast hosting, and advertising for uh, their shows or our shows. So if you, enjoy, if you enjoy one or more of the shows on Secular TV, we ask you to consider supporting our channel by becoming a patron or visiting our store and to all of our existing patrons, thank you so much for your support in helping us build a bigger platform for secular-minded voices and for helping us our, achieve our goals. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate your help. We at Secular TV really appreciate your help. Um, are there any uh, uh, parting words from anyone in the Hangout? Let's start from uh, Deconverted Man. Anything? Yeah, I want... Uh, well, I wanted to thank you for your time and energy and encourage everyone to learn as much as they can about logic. And I also wanted to point out that Secular TV looks like the guy from Breaking Bad. All righty. That's great. Uh, who we got next? The Paranor 00. Yeah, hey, uh, sorry. I got booted. Um, well, that's okay. You're not, you're not up yet. Paranor, anything... <laughs> before we leave. <laughs> oh, again, thank you for the time. Thank you for having me. And remember one thing. Never be a stranger. Just be strange. Just be strange. The weirder the better. I agree with you. Now, both of you guys, because you're the first, this is the first time you've, uh, you've been on the show, you're more than welcome to join us again next week or any week. Kenny, you're up. Oh, yes. Uh, subscribe to Secular TV if you haven't already. Uh, like Sid said, go to their Patreon and give them money. Subscribe to my channel, Mental Outlaw. Subscribe to Lou's channel, Lou Pliskin. I don't know if any of the rest of you have YouTube channels. Yes. Yes, Rob I has do. Beyond Gods. Rob, why don't you oh, yeah, tell Beyond me? Gods. Oh, yeah. I'm Rob DeRusso. I'm the found. Well, yeah, I am the founder of Beyond Gods. And you can check out my channel on YouTube under Beyond Gods. We actually are airing tomorrow night at 6 p.m. We're going to have Dear Me and Marie at Hope on as a guest. And we're going to be talking about the evolution of religion. Great. Also, Deconverted Man has a, has a channel, a YouTube channel called Deconverted Man 1. Number one. Uh, yeah, and uh, weekly oh. is... Uh, yeah, weekly I try to do uh, um, Ask a Skeptic, which features different skeptics answering questions. If you want to do that, let me know. Uh, it's a, I have a very small channel, but it's getting slightly bigger, so it's a good way to get your uh, voice out there and get attention to you. So. Yeah. Okay, well... Um, Is it my turn? Not yet, but I just wanted to say that any, any of you guys... <laughs> <laughs> Any of you guys who are who have who have content and would like to be uh, a part of Secular TV, just uh, let us know, and we can uh, have a chat. See what happens. 
Okay, Lou, it's your turn. Oh, now it's my turn? Now it's your turn. Oh, what the hell is I going to say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I just want to point out that the person on the panel with the largest channel is the one saying he has a small channel. <laughs> I did... I do not have... I do? Really? Yes. No, I did not know that. I thought, like, you guys... I'm sorry. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so... Truth in advertising. One Where is that? Is and clearly a fascist. And, and DM's channel is actually bigger than Secular TV's channel. Well, there you go. Oh. Yeah. Well, anyways, I, I don't know. I just... You know, I try to be humble, you know. You're not a small channel anymore. You're you, you can now call yourself a medium channel. Medium. All right, I'll I'll be I'll be a medium small <laughs> diet <laughs> diet channel. <laughs> All right. Now before we leave, I want to go to the comment section and see if there's any questions uh for us. Uh where's our sandwich? Man, uh, there better be one about lobsters. No, there's no questions. Uh, Moose Gell has said that uh, at Path for Progress, uh, maybe that's her, uh, her Twitter address. Um, that's her Twitter, uh, I'm assuming it's... Uh, Twitter it's, name or something. Yeah, she, uh, that's a new hashtag, No President Ted Cruz 2016. No President. No, come on, man. What's it? Are you guys anti-Canadian or something? I thought Donald I mean, Trump was going to run. <laughs> uh, I don't think he wants that again. Don't worry. It, it's Cruz now, and he's going to drop out soon. And you know how the Republican Party is. They just throw everything at the wall and see which candidate. I want to see Sarah Palin run against Hillary Clinton. <laughs> oh, I don't want Hillary Clinton to run. Oh fuck! Well, no, Sarah yeah. Palin is much younger. She'll win. And this is how yeah, this is how we'll determine years. they will they will mud wrestle. That is how we will determine the winner. Yes. Oh, yes. No. chocolate pudding. Yes. <laughs> double <laughs> double yes. Sick. Hillary's a double bagger. Okay, now there's a before we go there's a there's a comment here in the in, in our uh, chat uh, chat uh, side chat here about Breaking Bad. I'm just wondering. Oh. Where does that fit into into anything? No, nowhere. Click on the link. Click on the link. Okay. You no, know, I have to say something about Breaking Bad. I have not really been enjoying this Better Call Saul show. I think it's really boring. It's not even good as good as Breaking Bad. What? That show Better Call Saul. <laughs> I share that. The show Better Call Saul. It's like a spinoff of Breaking Bad. Huh? Oh, I haven't oh. even watched that yet, but everybody says it's better. No, I don't really know. think there's a. Oh, come on! The guy's got a tan. The guy's got it. Okay, so yeah. that Sid, could be done digitally. Sid clearly is not only a fascist, but he advocates children using methamphetamine. Right, and also he's. <laughs> it's a meat tenderizer. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah. If All it's right. good enough for Bill Cosby. <laughs> We've got two famous people. We've got Notch and I forgot now his name from Baking Bad. I just looked at it and I totally forgot his real Brian name. Brinson. Actually, Brian before, Brinson. before I, share I left, picture. before I left, uh, lost my friend hair. I got mistaken as lead singer from Bare Naked Ladies all the time. I, 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 you know, now you just get mistaken for a bare naked lady. I declare. <laughs> I'll show my moves if you really want. What? What? All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right, all right. On to the show. Uh, before we start getting like uh, naked and uh, having some kind of a poop competition. Less than until we have a logically coherent argument, we must continue to be skeptical of the conclusions. Oh, let Oh, lose hat. Hat, hat. Wow. Uh, All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Reason Speak on Secular TV. We will be here next week. See you then. Sit